Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to participate in your creation of life. No matter what you're drawn to, what your interests are, uh, what method you choose to express yourself in your life, whether it be what you wear, where you go, how you speak, what you make with the uh, with your hands or just with your vessel doesn't matter step into and operate from the power that's within you and that is how we create through our our actual expression it's not about doing it the best of the best or the worst of the worst it's not about rating it's not about comparison. The end result is only about expression. The more we step into this form of expression, however we choose that to be, we will see things in us and outside of us shift. Sometimes for the better and sometimes not so much as we perceive it. But as best as you can, remain in that place of expression and understand how it serves you. Because in understanding how it serves you, you begin to get more insight on how it may serve others. It's a beautiful thing. Because the more you operate in that mode for yourself, you begin to see others operate from that same energy. Now, it's not to say that they will recognize you as the same. That's fine. But you will know it. Because you've seen it in yourself. And once you've seen it in yourself, it's easier to acknowledge in others. It's a beautiful place to be in because when you see something within you displayed outside of you, it not only gives a confirmation and a change within yourself, but it also allows you to see what expression looks like for others. We don't have to agree. That's fine. But to simply have that moment of gratitude or that feeling of appreciation for something outside of you makes it that much easier to find that same appreciation, that same gratitude within you. It all starts with us. We create, whether we intend to or not. So in the best case scenario, we could stack the cards so that most of the time we're grateful for the outcome, we're grateful for the experience, grateful for the expression. And in times where we get the opposite effect, at least we know where the course correct if we, if we choose so. And that's fine. But allow yourself to step into your expression and don't look for anyone else to understand it first. And that's fine. It might even start better if you don't look for anyone to understand. Because then you're not hindering yourself or worried about things outside of you that you cannot control. But step more into you. And as you do this more and more, it becomes easier to step into that mode of creation that you see for yourself. If we look out into the world, we can see any and everybody and everything expressing, whether it be athletes, whether it be uh, popular celebrities, whether it be the person down the corner at the gas station, it doesn't matter. Everyone is expressing their own version of creation, their own version of reality, the news version of reality. And a version is another word for perspective. It's another way of seeing things. So the more you step into yourself, as far as the way that you express your life, your thoughts, your opinions, uh, your wants, needs, 
all these various aspects. The more you express, the more you can see how you define yourself. And my own personal opinion is it's a beautiful unfolding. It's a beautiful process. Sometimes it's filled with excitement. Sometimes it's filled with boredom. But nonetheless, you are participating in your method of creation. And once you step into that, that place, that perspective, that, that mode of being for yourself, it won't be so easy to go back to what you're used to. Because no matter what was in your past on your journey, it led you to where you are and where you're headed. And you understand through exploring self, through expressing self, you understand where you want to shift directions to. Embrace it. At times you will see fear come up. That's okay. Step into the unknown. There may be perceived failures. It's not a no, you're not able to do it. No, you're not able to move this way. No, you're not able to speak this way. You're not. The answer will always be yes or not right now. Maybe you had it in your mind that at a certain point in your life, you would be at a certain, uh, certain status as far as society. You would have a certain amount of money financially. You would have a certain degree of freedom within your life and how you maneuver. You would have uh, all the things that you dreamed of as a child. It's not that you don't get these things. It's not right now. Be patient with it and allow yourself to learn and grow as you expand upon your understanding of self. And you expand upon your understanding of self through your expression, through self-expression. You don't have to sing from the rooftops. You don't have to yell from the mountain peaks. Nah. Just simply express. And in doing the thing, find your peace. In doing the thing, find your satisfaction with self. In doing the thing, find your gratitude, your validation. All those things begin and end with you. Embrace it. Because no matter what you see for yourself along this journey, I promise you, it's there waiting for you. Step into your power. I think that's a good place to leave it for today. I wish any and all of you nothing but the best. Trust in yourself. Express yourself. Until next time, please don't forget to smile.